Greetings, fellows. I greet you today. As this is the update, the final update for Elden Ring stream series that's been going on now at episode 26. This was, in fact, the finale. So, this will be in two parts. Um, so there's a lot to cover here. So, um, without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty. Where we last picked off, uh, last picked up, um, the Arid Tree was very much on fire. Uh, courtesy of Melina, and then also by Sling of Malakath of uh, Rika's Shadow. Um, the Arid Tree was even more on fire. So, just had to T-pose, do a little T-pose for dominance there. Made our way into the Ashen capital of Lindell, uh, where I finally found the last talisman I needed for the legendary talismans. Um, and I found myself surrounded by three Earth Tree Spirits. I uh, wasn't having anything to do ulcerated Earth Tree Spirits. I wasn't having anything to do with that, so I just ran for it. Also sad to find that our old friend Gold Mask uh, was no longer among the living. And so was his compatriot, Corhen. I'm assuming Corhen took him out because he found out that he wasn't as a zealous just as he was. But uh, anyway, we got a golden rune that I didn't get to use. Proceeded to move forward a little bit and found ourselves encountering our old good old buddy Gideon... The All-Knowing. Gideon off near the All-Knowing. Uh, he had a lot of really cool spells and incantations, but uh, took him out pretty quickly. She to move forward just a little bit more, where we encountered this ghost who's saying that um, the Lord has returned at, la at long last. He has returned. Um, hmm. Arrived at the Fog Gate, uh, and we had a summon sign for Nefeli Ru, who he installed as the head of Stormvale Castle. Now, why would she be summoned here? Oh, that's why. We gotta fight her dad. Um, this is Hualu, uh, or Godfrey, the first Elden Lord who just returned um, to seek another audience with the Erd Tree. Um, and that's his buddy, Sirosh. Uh, this fight was really, really cool. Unfortunately for him, between Nefeli, Tish, and myself, uh, we ended up one-shotting him. I think a lot of that, uh, there was a little bit of luck involved there, but uh, we defeated Hralu, the and Lord Godfrey, the original Elden Lord. Um, now, there's so much to unpack here. Uh, I'm going to have to do a whole s series of stuff around lore and things, but um, yeah, that was a really cool fight. Uh, I wish I could have given him more of a fight, but uh, that'll definitely happen next playthrough, I'm sure, so... Uh, keep watching for part two. And now it's time for part two. So, after defeating Hualu, uh, Godfrey the Golden Lord, the original Elden Lord, nothing left to do but to proceed into the Erd Tree Sanctum, where we saw what appeared to be the remains of America. Uh, holding up uh, what I guess was left of the Elden Ring. Um, so yeah, we proceeded forward with caution. There's everybody's favorite uh, deadbeat dad. I I'm sorry, I'm a little bit biased because he abandoned Ranala in, in order to go be here with Marika. So what I can tell is that before we got this sign that basically said Marika equals Radagon, and now I understand why, it would seem that, based on what I've seen in context clues, that Radagon has taken on whatever was left of Marika's power. Um, this guy was a complete... Oh, I... This fight sucked so bad. I mean, the last hour or so and a half so of the stream was me just getting either completely mashed by this guy uh, just for, you know... If you're going to fight this guy, this is where you really need holy resistance. Because everything they do is holy damage. He's super aggressive. He can take you out very quickly if you are on low vigor or no defenses. Um, uh, but eventually, uh, well, eventually... After knocking down Radagon himself... What arose from what arose but the Elden Beast, the literal god. Um, a literal god. Again, between him and Radagon, I probably died like 20, 20, 25 times, I think. 
They almost met Melania, but the difference is with Melania, I was not overly frustrated. I was enjoying myself even when I died. But this was just absolute brutal hell. Um, eventually, the stars aligned. Um, I, I, I used my physic to take down Radagon, which, allowed, which left me all my resources to fight the Elden Beast, because this guy just constantly spews damage at you from everywhere. And after many, many attempts, we got him. Oh, what a fight. That was truly a god, the battle with a god. I will give you that. Whew. And then there was nothing left to do, but call forth Our Lady Ronnie once again. So glad to see her. We joined hands as her as her escort slash lord. And so begin the Age of Stars. To all those that have been watching, supporting, liking, and interacting with the videos, thank you. More to come. Elden.